Hi everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel, this Raz. In this video, we will discuss about the overview of the National Internal Revenue Taxes of the Philippines. So, if you're ready, let's start! National Internal Revenue Taxes or the National Taxes are basically the primary source of our government's revenues or income. So without these taxes, the government would have no money, would have no funds to operate the government itself. And these Internal Revenue Taxes or National Taxes are based on several theories, doctrines, and principles. So these taxes are not just you know computed out of nowhere but these taxes are thoroughly thought of and before they are imposed and implemented also these taxes are grounded with inherent in the constitutional limitations as we have already discussed in our other videos about the general principles of taxation so when we say principles of taxation these are the fundamental or basic truths on which our tax laws must be based upon there is a careful analysis, thorough discussions of why taxes should be implemented and there are governing principles which our tax laws are guided with. The first principle of taxation is the fiscal adequacy. It is said that the funds or the taxes generated from the tax laws must be sufficient or enough to meet the government expenditures because the primary reason why the government would impose a tax is of course to raise funds to raise revenue so if there should be these taxes then these taxes the funds generated from these taxes must be enough or equivalent to the government expenditures right hence fiscal adequacy. The second principle of taxation is that it must be equal or based on theoretical justice. Taxes must be based on the taxpayer's ability to pay. So when the Senate or the Congress is drafting or creating a tax law, they must also consider the capacity or ability of the taxpayer to pay the tax. I mean, they should know who are they taxing with and who will pay these taxes okay and the third principle governing our taxation is that it must be based on the administrative feasibility it means that the tax laws must be capable of being effectively enforced we also have here theories of taxation when you say theories these are sets of accepted beliefs that explain and guide our lawmakers in making tax laws so number one theory is that the necessity theory this is the very theory of taxation this is the reason why there is a tax it is said under this theory that the power to tax is an attribute of a sovereignty emanating from necessity it means that there is a tax or there are tax laws because there is a need from the people the need for the protection the need for shelter the need for health infrastructures the need for education and so on so because of this need there should be a source of funds where the government could accommodate the demand of these people hence there is a tax the other theory is that the lifeblood theory this is the importance of taxation it is said that without taxes the government would be paralyzed for lack of the motive power to activate and operate it and the other theory is that the benefits protection theory or the reciprocal duties theory and this is the basis of taxation under this theory it is said that there is a symbiotic relationship between the state and the citizens the state being the provider of the shelter of education of health infrastructures protection and in the turn thereof the citizens must compensate the government for these benefits received by the citizens hence benefit protection theory or the reciprocal duties theory 
So after we have discussed all those principles and theories of taxation, now let's go to the overview of our national internal revenue taxes. So this is the national internal revenue taxes or otherwise known as the national taxes. So broadly speaking, we can categorize the national internal revenue taxes into three. And these are the income taxes, the transfer taxes, and business taxes. So these are the three main taxes imposed and collected by the national government. Again, we are talking here of the national government or the national taxes, not the local taxes. So under the income tax, we have four. These are the graduating tax, which is a tabular, and we have discussed this in our other lecture, or the 8% optional rate. These taxes are applicable only to individual taxpayers. And we also have corporate taxes. We also have final taxes on certain passive incomes. And there are many of them. We also have capital gains taxes. So basically, these are the four taxes that fall under income taxes. And we have discussed these taxes in our previous video lectures. The common thing about income taxes is that these taxes from the graduated to capital gains taxes are imposed on the right to earn income, basically on the income. Any taxpayer's income is subject to income tax. Whether you are an employee or a businessman or a professional or a corporation, whether you are a celebrity or an influencer or a vlogger, any income that you earn will be subject to income tax and you could be subject to any of those four or a combination. On the other side, aside from the income tax, you could also be subject to transfer taxes. There are two types of transfer taxes. It depends whether the transfer is gratuitous or onerous. When we say gratuitous transfers, these are transfers of property without remuneration or compensation. It is just given for free. For example, when you give a gift that is a gratuitous transfer or when someone dies and then he has this estates properties left behind for his heirs, the transfer therein upon death is also a gratuitous transfer because basically there is no obligation the part of the transferee to compensate or to pay the transfer, hence gratuitous. The other one we have onerous. In contrary to the gratuitous transfer, the transferee is obliged to compensate the transferor to pay something, to compensate. For example, at the transfer between the seller and the buyer, in which case the seller would only transfer the right of ownership to the buyer if the buyer would pay the seller. Okay, that's onerous. Onerous because it is burdensome on the part of the buyer or the transfer. Okay, so under gratuitous transfers, there are two types of taxes. And this could be mortis causa or inter vivos. When we say mortis causa, mortis means death, causa means after. It means that when the transfer happens upon death or after death, then that could be subject to estate tax. Okay? But when we say inter vivos, inter means within and vivos means life. Meaning the transfer happens during the lifetime of the transfer, then that transfer could be subject to donor's tax. Because essentially the transfer is a gift. Because the transfer is alive and the transfer is alive. Both of them are alive. So it's inter vivos. And we will discuss more of this in our succeeding videos. Now let's go to onerous transfers. Onerous transfers, as I just have said, involves the transferee compensating the transferor for the property received. It means there is a burden the part of the transferee to compensate the transfer. Now, these onerous transfers are actually subject to business tax, which is our third 
major or broad classification. And this could be value-added tax or percentage taxes and excise taxes. I know you are familiar with VAT or value-added tax and we call this consumption tax. Okay, so this is a tax imposed on goods or services that we purchase or we sell on the market. For example, when we purchase our favorite food in a certain, you know, fast food, and then there is a corresponding or there is a 12% add-on tax on the price that we paid to the seller. And this 12% is actually the VAT. Okay, later on in our succeeding video discussion, we will discuss more about VAT and also percentage taxes and also excise taxes. When you say excise taxes, these are taxes imposed on sinful and luxurious products. For example, cigarettes. Okay, as you know, the price of cigarettes in the Philippines increased since 2018. Or when we buy cars or vehicles, okay, as you notice, the prices of these luxurious items or sinful products increased since 2018 when there was a tax reform. And we will talk about excise taxes more on our succeeding videos. So these are the taxes imposed by the national government, okay? So again, we have income taxes, we have transfer taxes, and we have business taxes. Okay, and in business taxes, we have value-added tax, percentage tax, and excise tax. By the way, if I may add, uh, there are two definitions of excise tax. Number one is that it is a tax on sinful products. But the other definition is that excise tax is a tax on a right. Okay, so generally speaking, all these taxes, the income tax, the transfer tax, the business tax are all excise taxes as to object okay as to object these are excise taxes these are excise taxes because as to object these taxes are imposed on the right okay when there is a tax on the right that is an excise tax for example income tax income tax is imposed on the right of the taxpayer to earn income Hence, income tax is an excise tax. On the other hand, when we say transfer tax, this is the tax imposed by the government on the taxpayer's right to transfer, whether gratuitously or onerously. Okay? Hence, transfer tax is also an excise tax. Okay? Again, an excise tax has two definitions. Number one, it could be a tax on sinful or luxurious products such as cigarettes, bags, cars, and other vehicles. And the other definition is that when you say excise taxes, these are taxes imposed on the taxpayer's right. Okay? So, these are all excise taxes. So, above all these things, the national government also imposed one last tax. And that is the documentary stamp tax. This documentary stamp tax is imposed by the government on every transaction entered by any taxpayer, especially when the transaction is in writing, in a document. For example, when you graduate and you secure a diploma from your school, that diploma needs to have a documentary stamp tax. Or when you file something to the government, anything, any document, filed with or to the government should contain a documentary stamp tax okay so we will also discuss doc stamp in our succeeding future videos so these are the entire overview of the national internal review taxes and we have already discussed income taxes in our other videos so in our future videos we will discuss more about transfer taxes, business taxes, and also documentary stamp tax. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!